Hi everybody, this is Sithi Readings and hi Capricorn, how are you guys doing? Let's have a look at the messages that are going to show up for you in case this reading resonates with you Capricorn. There will be a link in the description box to the extended. Okay. Voyage of the heart. Love flows through you and to you. I heard it's a journey. Grace and gratitude. Through gratitude, joy expands. Let's read for you what the cards are saying, Capricorn. Voyage of the heart. Love flows through you and to you. You are beloved. You are deeply loved and profoundly lovable. You are a sacred vessel for love to flow through you. God, the creator, is love and in your essence, so are you. In the matters of romantic love, all is healing or is already healed on the inner planes. Trust the messages from your heart and follow them, even if they are at odds with your mind. Angels and guides are communicating with you. Listen to their soft whispers. Through gratitude, joy expands. The secret to expanding joy is to cherish the precious, preciousness of life and everyone and everything around you. It is simple, easy, and so very powerful. Be grateful for as much as you can. The thankfulness is modern-day alchemy. It can yield happiness, grace, and peace beyond imagination. I feel like Capricorn, you're being told here to take things a little bit more lightly um, and to enjoy little things in life. Maybe you've been really busy lately. You know, there has been a lot going on around you, you know, something very consuming. And you may have just felt like, you know, it's like something has gotten too hectic for you. Um, I feel like both of these cards are kind of giving you a message of letting go a little bit. Um, Let's see. Show me messages for Capricorn. We have here the Six of Wands, which is victory, success, forward movement. I feel like you're going to be getting attention from someone and also recognition for your work. Six of Wands is a card of victory and success. Then we have the Palace of Coins, yes. I feel like Capricorn, you're getting a lot of prosperity here coming for you, specifically in your money with the Emperor card. Um, let me know what are your Capricorn placements. I have also a significant Capricorn placement in my chart. Um, and there's just this energy of something being more practical or you just getting more attention. Um, it also looks like your work is going to be rewarded, Capricorn. Because the Emperor here represents your business or something you're a part of okay so business wise we have here page of wands the death card and the nine and ten of swords Ooh, something here is coming to an end 
a situation, a relationship, or a connection with someone. Um, okay, one more thing I want to add for your money situation, Capricorn, is that I feel like you're being taken to the next level when it comes to your finances. I see that you're going to be achieving something. Here, I feel like, yeah, I'm seeing that something is going to go in your favor. It's, it's, it's almost like a stepping stone energy or, you know, getting promotion or uh, getting a cash bonus at work. Okay, so let's have a look. Page of Wands, Death and the Ten of Swords here. Two of Wands, Four of Cups. What's coming to an end? <gasps> Is it a relationship? Some of you are contemplating ending a relationship or ending a friendship with someone with the Three of Cups. This is someone you're familiar with. Now, one thing I'm going to tell you, Capricorn, is that with that Page of Wands energy, I was getting here that there is someone here who's kind of giving you the side eye. You know, this is someone who does not really have your best interest at heart anyway. Some of you may feel like you have a fake friend or just someone whose energy is super fake and they're around you. Um, Six of Cups. The Moon. Okay. I feel like the person you're dealing with Capricorn they're sneaky as hell I'm not gonna lie to you here some of you like this these are two different situations it could be a friend of yours or a lover whoever it is they're sneaky as hell okay and you're someone who's emotionally discontent with the situation anyway you're like you know I have the option to leave or I don't know if this situation is gonna get better or not but it has gone you to a point where you're like, okay, I hope for something, but I'm not really getting that here in the relationship. I feel like for the longest time in this connection, you were holding on to hope, like, okay, things are going to get better. Okay, maybe this person's going to change, but they didn't change. They didn't change. Some of you maybe even got codependent on this person, like, you could sense that there's something wrong here but with the moon card i'm telling you that this person is not really revealing their feelings yet uh they're keeping things to themselves they do miss you but there's just a lot that they're not telling you or talking about and you over here are like you know what i'm done with this because the ten of swords is an energy when we get to a point like i'm done with this i don't want to feed into it okay so let's see. We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Three of Wands. Your advice here is that what you're looking for, you're going to get. I feel like there's luck is, you know, on your side here, Capricorn. There could be a goal or something, a dream that you want to achieve or something you've been waiting on. I feel like towards the end of March, you will see that things will start to change for you. This is something that you're manifesting in the month of March, more, more to say, because it's like a decision or something you're waiting on, but something you've put effort towards as well. With the Wheel of Fortune, I, like you're getting a lot of Jupiter energy in this reading. So Jupiter is the planet of expansion and positive changes. It's the planet of luck as well. 
one thing that you may struggle with a little bit is with your connection like with a pause person because there's still a little bit of a this I'm not gonna reveal everything that I feel here kind of an energy but with the two of wands and the emperor you're already choosing to keep your emotions to yourself so it's not like you're revealing too much to this person anyway you know your past person's feelings for you their view of you actions they plan on taking where is it going and your advice and your new person's energy and where is it going with them if you don't have a new person take this side as a prediction what about the deck queen of wands let's have a look at your finances now capricorn let's see what's up with your finances We have recognition so finances are about to improve for you and just when i started your reading i told you that there's a better energy with your finances your money's looking good and solid whatever you're working on now will win you the respect of others you could earn a leadership position or get the recognition you deserve i really really feel here capricorn that um Capricorn, you're about to receive some sort of recognition and reward for the work you've put in your business, in your finances, because the first card you got from the reading was the Six of Wands. Um, this is lovely energy. Then we have Work Smart. Are you making it harder for yourself than it needs to be? Stick to basic needs and perhaps it's time to clean out some personal space. So this is also telling you to let go of what no longer serves you work smart uh you may be doing more than you need to work wise but i don't feel like there's anything to worry about let's see what are the messages from your person we have here i love you unconditionally it came in the reverse so i'm kind of you know a little skeptical about that i wish things could be different so the person you're dealing with what they want to tell you is that they wish that things were different between you and them now this is someone who changes a lot i feel like you're dealing with someone who can be very moody and sometimes it gets really hard for you to understand this person or like where they're coming from because they are like that because they tend to get really moody okay this person does have love for you but what else you know um i don't feel like you're sitting there waiting for someone to love you um and just like i mean love you in a way that they're just saying that they love you but you want them to back it up with their actions as well right anyway that's about it capricorn those were the messages that showed up for you hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already uh have a look at the extended link in the description box below and i will see you guys next time bye